An awesome way to receive God's mercy and healing is in the Sacrament of Reconciliation. This sacrament has been called by different names during the history of the Church. But no matter what it's called, the goal is the same, to receive God's mercy and be reconciled to Him and His Church. But reconciliation doesn't start when you actually sit down with the priest. It starts before that in your heart. This is called contrition. It's where you take some time in prayer, thinking about not just what you've done, but also what you've failed to do. This is also known as an examination of conscience. One of the things that Catholics often ask is, why do I have to go to confession to a priest? After all, if God is all-knowing and He's everywhere, why can't I just go to the privacy of my own home, close the door, confess my sin, and, and God will hear me and He'll forgive my sin? Why do I need to go to the Sacrament of Reconciliation? And I think we can answer this question in a, a few ways. Number one, because it's Jesus' idea. Jesus gave us a Sacrament of Reconciliation in the Gospels. He, he breathed onto the Apostles and He said, Whoever sins you forgive, you are forgiven. Whoever sins you retain, they are retained. This implies that for the apostles to administer forgiveness, it implies that they, they would hear it confessed because they, they can't guess at people's sin. So one reason that we go to the Sacrament of Reconciliation, one, it's, it's scriptural, it's Jesus' idea. Number two, it's historical. If we look at the early church, we see the Sacrament of Reconciliation being practiced in a different form, but it was there. And so if it is there, it's because we understand that the apostles passed this on to their successors. So why do we go, one, it's scriptural, two, historical. It's, it's present within the early church. Number three, it's, it's tangible. One of the uh, most powerful ways to have love communicated is to hear those words, I forgive you, because it costs to forgive. And so it's tangible. We hear those words with our ears. You see, God has created us with senses. We, we see, we taste, we touch, we hear, and we hear those words in the Sacrament of Reconciliation. I absolve you from your sin. It engages us. And so why do we go? It's scriptural, historical, tangible, and the last one, practical. In the Sacrament of Reconciliation, we sit before a priest and he's able to give us good advice that sometimes we wouldn't otherwise think about on our own. You know, we're struggling and we think that we see our life 20-20, but often we don't and we, we need help. Like a coach coaching his athlete, the coach is able to see things that the athlete can't see in the performance. And likewise, sometimes we need someone on the outside to give us advice of, one, of what's going on in the inside of our life. So why do we go to the Sacrament of Reconciliation? One, scriptural. Two, practical. Three, historical. Last one, tangible. When I was a kid, you know, I didn't really go very often. I sort of was nervous about it. Um, and I had a priest when I was an adult sort of re-explain the sacrament to me about how um, the sacrament is really for reconciliation. And when we sin, you know, we're breaking a bond with Christ, we're breaking a bond with each other. I had no idea the burden that I was carrying, the weight of unresolved things. And to speak them out was a, a wonderful relief and a surprise. I definitely find myself a little bit nervous, um, and, but I know that what I'm doing is uh, what I want to be, and I know that I'm in the right place, and I know that my heart is in the right place. Coming into the confessional is always a great challenge. <laughs> I don't know anyone, myself included, who maybe is a little bit hesitant to go in, but coming out feels unbelievable. Once you get rid of that barrier of sin, uh, it's, it, it changes everything. It, it really and truly does. It's very transformative. All the times that I've gone to confession, every single time, it's been a place of forgiveness and healing and reconciliation. So don't worry about being ashamed or feeling guilty. It's really an opportunity to, to heal from, from things that we've been carrying around. My experience in the sacrament for me is wonderful because Give me this train to keep going. Look at all he went through. Just look at the cross for a minute. He died so that we could have the forgiveness of sins. And so Lent is a special time when we focus on the sacrifice of Jesus at great cost. You know, the minute you step out of that box, uh, it's, it's as if all the weights in the world, all your cares have been lifted off of you. Uh, just 
uh, enough to bring you to tears. It's just, just an amazing feeling. And so please never hesitate. It's, it's a great joy for us to hear confessions at any time of one's life, um, and in a special way if they've been away from a long time. God imparts his mercy in a special, loving, and tender way to those who, who have been gone. Why did I carry this around for so long? This is definitely not what I expected. I forgot how good it feels to be here. Why was I so nervous? Bless me, Father, for I have sinned. I absolve you of your sins. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Father. Christ has forgiven you. Go in peace. Confession is nerve-wracking. I know because I feel it myself, and I try to go every single week. But having gone to confession feels great. For me, it's like a workout. I don't love going to work out, but I love having worked out. And here's why confession's so great. Our sin is not who we are. It's actually who we're not. It's the stuff in our lives that holds us back from living our lives most fully. Imagine for a second that you and I are a pipe. And a pipe has one purpose, to get water from one place to another. The water is God's love, the water of our baptism. And that love flows through us out to the world. Sin is the gunk and the clogs that block the flow of the water. And so it is that the water is restricted. We're not living our lives as fully as we can be. Confession is Drano. It blasts away everything that is not the pipe so that that water can flow as freely as God wants it to. Going to confession is actually easier than you imagine. Now I'm gonna show you exactly what to do. The first step before actually going into the confessional is to make an examination of conscience. Look to see the times when you haven't responded to the blessings as fully as you could. Outside of most confessionals, there are two lights, a green light and a red light. A green light means that the priest is hearing confessions, but that there's no one actually going to confession at that time. A red light means that the priest is in the confessional hearing someone's confession. So just wait a moment and your turn will be next. If you prefer to go anonymously, then you come and you kneel down and tell your confession to the priest through the screen. He can't see you, but you can still talk to each other freely. If you prefer to make your confession face to face, simply walk around and be seated and begin. Now, how do you go to confession? It's really easy. First, you make the sign of the cross in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Say these words, bless me, Father, for I have sinned. It's been, and then tell the priest how long it's been since you've been to confession. If you don't know or you can't remember, just tell the priest it's been a really long time and I'm not sure when I went last. Then, if you're nervous and you're not sure what to do, just tell the priest. Say, I'm not sure what to do, I'd like some help. Now list your sins. I always think it's best to start with the things that bother you the most. Get them off your chest first. Then once you've said the sort of big ticket items, then you can name the other things, the habits, the tendencies that you have, the things that pull you down. After that, the priest is, will give you some advice, some spiritual practices, something to think about or pray about. Finally, the priest will give you a penance, some prayers to say after you've gone to confession. Then the priest will give you absolution. With these words, the confession is ended. Go and enjoy the forgiveness of Christ. It's so much easier than you think.